Hey guys, what's happening? I uh, wanted to do just a very quick talking video. I'm going to try to keep this under five minutes and keep it quick. Um, just a quick, hopefully inspirational video because um, I feel like playing a musical instrument is like a, any other journey where it's very easy to feel discouraged, uh, like you're not getting to where you want to get to, like you're not getting as much that you're putting in or that you're not motivated to put in enough or just a variety of different things, right? Or, you know, you don't know what to do next. I mean, it's, you know, it's, the list is endless of kind of issues that come up and, and whatever it may be, challenges, adversity. Um, I just want to talk real quick about a time that I had quit playing altogether um, not quit in the sense that um, I didn't pick up a guitar ever, but just quit in the sense that I looked at guitar playing as anything I was putting much into, you know, in, in any way. Uh, it was just, I had a couple of guitars laying around and it was just strictly a hobby. And maybe that's where it is for you, someone watching this all the time, and there's nothing wrong with that. But my point is that for me, that was like quitting. So whatever you, your version of, of, of quitting looks like, right? So um, for me, that felt like quitting. And I did that from, I'm 44 now, um, ages, I, I started that journey around 29, 28, 29, and I didn't really snap out of it till about 33, 34. Um, so, um, I had a solid, like, four or five years where, uh, in my musical journey where I don't want to say I gave up, but, you know, I kind of gave up, you know, and, um, I just want to say that, uh, you know, I personally, I don't know how I came out of it. I think I just missed it enough at one point where I just kind of woke up one day and said, you know what, I, I got to get back to it. Um, but I think I didn't have other things in my life that were filling that void that were fulfilling me in any way so um really just took like some self-reflection of saying you know do i want to just live for just going to work and making money to, to pay my bills and and survive and eat or do i want to have a few things in my life that i that i absolutely love and put effort into and that i try to you know get something out of um on a higher level, you know, on a, on a, um, you know, on a more fulfilling level. So, um, you know, I decided then I, I, I just, that I would take the first step. And I think that's my biggest advice. Maybe if I'm, if this video is to give advice, I don't know if that's the nature of this video. I think it's just to kind of tell you my story, but, um, if we were to glean any advice from it, I'd say it's that just take it step by step. My first step was I didn't have any gear. So um, I wanted to get back to playing and jamming with people and being able to um, play with other musicians and to be able to um, sound like a professional again, you know, and have at least, you know, an American made guitar and a tube amp and a couple pedals and some basics. You know, I had sold almost everything. I think I had an acoustic and something else, like a cheap uh, electric and a practice amp. I, don't, I didn't have gear. So that was step one, just get a little bit of gear and find at least one or two people that want to jam. So that's exactly what I did. And then from there, things snowballed and I met or reunited with people back in California and I ended up moving and then I ended up getting back in bands and blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, it, it snowballed from there and everything kind of picked up back to where I left off. But um, point being is that I had to do it in steps. I didn't, couldn't just kind of jump right back into it. I had to start out by like, okay, first, what's the first thing I do, right? What's the second thing I do? What's the third thing I do? So, um, that would be my advice. And, um, I hope I kept it short. That's really about it. If you're in a hole, you know, just figure out the first thing that you need to do to kind of get out of it. Um, what's the very first step and then just work on that step, check it off the, uh, off your to-do list once you do and then figure out step two and do it and just work your way to getting to where you want to go and uh you know for me myself i'm at a point where i'm going to go back to school now finish my degree which i'm this close to getting uh in music uh and then um you know from there work with uh some people i've already kind of talked to out there and you know i kind of have my next steps even now arranged so you always want to be looking forward to what those next steps and what's going to further you getting you playing with people better than you that, that you never want to be the best one in the room right like the like how do you make that happen how do you find people you can learn from how do you find mentors how do you find 
players that can do things that you, you can't do, right? So um, just work on it, make those lists, write them down if you need to, all of that, um, whatever works best for you to accomplishing those goals kind of one by one. And uh, yeah, I hope that helps. I went through it, you know, and I hope that just knowing that people that are as into it as I am went through it, that means anyone could go through it and come out the other end, right? So um, hope this helps. You guys, love you all. Like, subscribe, and share. Um, I'll see you guys on the flip. Keep on picking, please. Keep on picking. The mu the world needs more music and more love. So um, stay out. Stay. Keep your your playing out there and shine a light. Much love, you guys. Peace.